And so we're finally here. The beautiful, the illuminated city of Medina al Munawwara. How long we've waited, how long we've yearned, how much we've suffered. The city of healing, the city of faith, the city which is protected. The city that we come to that brings us peace, tranquility, calm, its beauty, external, physical, internal, where we revive our spiritual energy. And that just to walk around and to feel it's just it's it's sanctity, it's 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 security, it's holiness gives us that energy that we we often need to maintain our acts of ibadah whether it's through learning, whether it's through this understanding its history, whether it's imbibing its theology. But what there's no doubt about is that it restores our Iman. And it gives us what we need to be able to continue to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether that's with the big effort of worship in Mecca, with the act of Umrah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether it's the individual acts of worship that will be required throughout our trips, throughout our studies, or throughout our lives as we return back to them because we will have to go back but when you go back from here you take something special with you the sunnah of the prophet وسلم, his teachings his guidance the light that he shone into the surrounding areas a representation of paradise we see everywhere whether it's in the soil or in the sky or in the earth mountains which are from paradise gardens which are from paradise in fact, the city is a representation of paradise. So we come to learn and to submit and allow the city to heal us. But you have to be willing to be healed. Let the city take control.